Namato Ratana Tayasa May I pay homage to Triple Zem, the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. My respect goes to my parents and my teachers. Hello, good evening everyone. So today is a Friday the 18th of uh, September 2020. And this is Ajahn Sujan from Warapunya Meditation Center, Aberdeen, Scotland. And thank you everyone for following and listening this online Facebook Dhamma talk. I'm here at the same time. And apologies for last night um, due to the few people came for the service. And uh, as a result, I was a little late uh, coming on live. Hi Yvonne, Manish, Patripa, Gautam, Margaret and everyone. So the first announcement that I have to make today, uh, sadly, uh, that our official annual event, uh, the Katina Ceremony, on the 4th of October that pre that was pre-planned now need to be cancelled uh, in a bigger sense but there will be a small you know, uh, a small function uh, that's the gathering about 20 people are uh, allowed as the government in line with the guidance I did try to find out where the numbers are, but on Facebook or on a uh, government's website, uh, we couldn't find how many numbers are allowed. But from the uh, meetings uh, with the Scottish, the interfaith uh, suggested that less than 20. So with that guidance, uh, we're going to cancel uh, our uh, event but we will be still having a small a ceremony as a form of uh, requirements um, and also as usual the Katina ceremony has been a, a part of a raising a fund to support the center uh, and uh, as a result we will be doing on live Facebook uh, as well yeah. So this is just the announcement that uh, if you are planning to come to the center then just check with the uh, center first or even uh, texting me find out whether you can attend or not. Uh, we have to really squeezing and uh, making sure that uh, all the measures are followed. In the meanwhile, since uh, this Katina ceremony is a communal Katina ceremony and you all are still welcome to contribute and support the center. So this is a, a one uh, news for you all. Um, and a second and this uh, evening I was um, looking at the news uh, and uh, what I found that it's quite uh, interesting that we need to be very alert and awake uh, and protected uh, to ourselves and saying that the number of uh, you know, positive results increased, doubled uh, and then could worse on the way. So new restrictions in the northeast and Midlands and the West Yorkshire has been introduced and ministers are again talking for the another half term lockdown and the London's uh, cases again in, you know, increase and the curfews has introduced and global cases again more than 30 million doubling in two months time. Uh, so that's a really scary. And new restrictions began in the northeast and uh, also the London New Year Eve fireworks 
cancelled. So this is the moment uh, that we need to be very careful and looking after ourselves and taking care of ourselves. And uh, even in India and Nepal and uh, uh, they are in, in even in Thailand, uh, I was told that the number of uh, coronavirus positive uh, results increased significantly alone in Nepal alone uh, there are over 2,000 people uh, are uh, recorded within this today <clears throat> so uh, this is the time uh, that we need to be very mindful uh, and uh, very careful and since today is the, uh, the same topic that we are working on um, that's the uh, right mindfulness. I would like to elaborate on further on that same topic that so sati in uh, which is uh, translated as the mindfulness in English language has uh, so many other uh, explanations that we can find you know, and that is the according to the Abhidhamma uh, Sati or the mindfulness means bear in mind or bring to mind uh, and also state of a recollection, state of a remembering, state of a non-fading and state of non-forgetful. And this is also a part of the spiritual faculties and the five spiritual faculties and that comes in the middle. So that is Asadda, Virya, Sati, Samadhi and Panya. So faith, energy or effort, mindfulness, the concentration and wisdom. So Sati is a part of that as well and also is a part of the uh, enlightenment factors, seven, enli seven factors of enlightenment, the Bojangas. And that starts from the Sati itself. So Sati, Dhamma, Vijaya, Virya, so on. And it is also means that non-carelessness. Also means non-fuzziness uh, and confusion. And here I want to give a, a small uh, story that comes in the, uh, one of the uh, discourses in the Sangyukta Nikaya, the, the, the volume of, uh, fourth volume in the Nikayas, the Sutta Pitaka. In that there is a, one very beautiful story. The story begins like this, that uh, a, a Arcubat, Arcubat master set up a bamboo uh, to show the Arcubats. And after he has uh, set it up perfectly, he spoke with his apprentice saying that their pupil, now on, we're going to demonstrate our skills on this rope, on this bamboo. Now, look after me and I will look after you with this we are going to demonstrate our skills and with that we will get what uh, the people has to offer and after the master has told in that way a pupil replied saying that no master no it doesn't work it puts all both of us in danger we should look after ourselves and then looking after that way we will be performing effectively and whatever we earn from that we are taking and this is how we should be performing and the simile was given by the buddha to demonstrate that we all have to look after ourselves. And looking after ourselves, we are protecting others. And protecting others, we are protecting us. And this is what the Buddha said. 
And here looking after, Buddha was talking about the interior mental state of each and individuals, that one has to be fit enough to look after oneself. And in order to look after oneself properly, has to practice the Tipatana, the awareness of body, feeling, mind and dhammas, the mind objects. And in this such a crisis time, such a difficult time, uncertain time, that we are all facing this invisible enemy who is traveling in such a vast and, uh, and traveling such a so rapidly causing a lot of disruptions and a lot of trouble to all of us we need to look after ourselves and that simply we are following all the measures with a mindfulness you know and the mindfulness is basically protecting ourselves ability to keep our own self in a safe distance away from the virus or away from socializing to any other groups or meetings and having said that it's sad to know that all the pubs are open in fact take this opportunity uh, governments and every one of us should be uh, giving up drinking and uh, taking this as a form of a uh, detoxing our f our own body would be what a wonderful idea to do it yes having a an uh, open this these pups would help people to decrease their consumption and they would not consume alone at home but i think it would be a very good idea to close these pups and that will help decrease mental health problem so you know, and a domestic violence and as well as each and individuals would be looking after themselves so taking care of themselves i hope that all the medias and even the governments would introduce such ideas and introducing people to less drink and detox themselves for the better physical body and healthy mind. Okay. So, at this time, uh, having a uh, looking after our own physical body in a safe distance is basically we are helping others to be safe as well. So we need to be very conscious about it. And this is a mindfulness, yeah? being a mindfulness or having a sati in every walks that we are walking through or in every, everywhere that wherever we walk. And having a mask on whenever you are into the ma masses or the publics, that also is being a mindful of yourself, protecting yourself with that you are protecting others and following all the measures that uh, each and every you know communities or the governments have introduced we need to be mindful that too these r rules and regulations are helping us to look after ourselves and that is basically a sati And by looking after ourselves, it is helping others to look after themselves too. And that's also sati. It's a beautiful story. When I was reading that story, I thought, wow, this is a really, really wonderful story. For at particularly this time. And as you know, you do not know who has got this virus. You do not know where did you get it from. So... All what you can do is to protect yourself, looking after yourself. By protecting that, you are breaking, let's say you are keeping distance, you are 
by wearing your masks and your washing your hands and become mindful of it basically you are protecting yourself from getting the virus and the consequence is you are safe in the meantime because of your mindfully practicing this way and following these regulations it is also helping others to be protected they become a conscious they become a mindful of that too and with that you are protecting others so that's why in such a difficult time of this you know, uncertainty i think the mindfulness meditation is one of the greatest key to keep us safe in this uncertain time and also protecting others for sure another simile the buddha gave practicing mindfulness mindfulness or having a right mindfulness is that you are keeping yourself as a doorkeeper or the guard so you are aware of whoever coming in and going out you are mindful of that and with that mindfulness what happens that you become a very conscious about the situation and we are protecting yourself from not forgetting to wear the masks or to avoid the masses and with that you become a very conscious of your own physical well-being and whatever the mental well-being will follow as well so being a doorkeeper doing a, being a mindful and with this mindfulness what the qualities that we are developing is the heedfulness or appamada not negligence not neglecting to protect your own self and another word buddha used the in a very beautiful way so atta deepa bhava means be your own light do not try to enlighten anyone or do not try to explain that you should wear this and you should wear that you should be protecting you should be looking after you look after yourself at the deep bower let the light let you be a light for yourself and with that you become more conscious about your own well-being and by being your own by being conscious about your own well-being you also keeping the distance from other people so you become a mindful you are not hatefulness you are not pamad you haven't you are you haven't neglected any in you know, a possible cause that may spread the virus or cause spread the you know, other problems and here i'm only using the simile this uh, the practice of a sati in this moment of the corona virus um, because this is so relevant that how much we need to be conscious about it but having said that it is not just this virus but also in our social uh, the work in a social or day to day life we need to look after ourselves we need to protect ourselves and by protecting yourself by uh, you know uh, aware of yourself keeping yourself on a safe place you basically you are saving others too because with that you are spreading the kindness you are spreading the compassion too and encouraging others to follow the same path for the learner uh, success in your lives in their lives too so that's why the sati always comes along with the word appamada Yeah, the Buddha said, "Apa mada amatang padang." Heedfulness is the greatest path, and that basically means be mindful, do not be heedful, do not be negligent. 
the very moment when you become a negligence then you are inviting troubles to yourself yeah? it's called pamada machu no padang when you become a negligence that leads to the path to the destruction or a death but the very moment when you are heedfulness you are mindful of your all the actions then that helps you to follow or helps you to uh, a good um, uh, physical health and then good mental health why because you become uh, very mindful of the, all the measures that you have to follow for keeping yourself safe and protecting others and also you become a mindful that things you should be doing for your own safety for your own goodness and in this moment when you are talking about the safety and the goodness you are also spreading this kindness and compassion towards others that me are is not or i am not spreading the virus I am you now hoping that everyone are safe and you know, not get this virus. So that's why the practice of a sati or having this sati is so important that yesterday I mentioned that if we are not mindful properly, there is so uh many percentages or chances that any great hatred and delusion creeps in or a latent defilement can creep in and causes a lot of problem and negligence develops and with that development or the culti- uh, arising of this any negligence in our you know, uh, living day to day life then that causes any more trouble and look at about this time of the crisis we are asked to have a social distance but if we neglect that what happens we are inviting possibilities of getting the virus and we are we were asked to wear the masks and again when we are going to the uh, public uh, places uh, going to the masses and we do not wear a mask what happened who is in a trouble we are in a trouble so that's why practice of the sati or the mindfulness is basically helping us to keep ourselves safe and as well as others safe so this is the social responsibility uh, in a way we are being a responsible to keep ourselves protected and then others are also protected and this is what the real buddha's teachings on the right mindfulness so that's why i already said on the uh, previous nights that right mi- uh, mindfulness there are two types but in uh, buddhism in the right mindfulness is what the buddha was talking about and with that we become a responsible of our own <coughs> and destiny destiny towards the crisis or to the success to the happiness or unhappiness we become a responsible for our own benefit or unbenefit so that's why practice of a mindfulness is apply it can be applied or should be applied in our day to day life from awareness of the body caring of our body protecting our body and with that protection we are keeping ourselves uh, our all the, uh, the feelings we become a mindful of that feelings and gradually we develop um, the sense of understanding this uh, uh, feelings we are not carried away uh, from these feelings and emotionally hampered how we develop basically we are developing the stable mind the healthy mind and ability to understand that this is the uncertain time and then we accept this is happening 
uh, and uh, nothing we can do. So keeping the balanced mind, we will be able to keep this mind in balance. So let's keep in your mind that protecting yourself is to protect others. And do not do anything that may that may uh, that you may have to repent later. But do things that makes you happy as well as the community. And this is the the teachings known as the Deva Dhamma, the the principles to be the deities. So you can be the deity or the devata in this human flesh by not doing anything that may cause harm to yourself and not doing or committing anything that may bring the trouble to the community. So it's called like hiri and otappa. Do not do anything that brings trouble to you. Do things that brings happiness and benefit to you and then to community so that is the benefit of the practice of a uh, mindfulness meditation and this is why we need to be mindful of our action of our speech and how we think so with this i end tonight's reflection uh, and may you be well and happy keep in mind and be mindful at all the time and protecting yourself and then with that you are protecting others too thank you everyone and may you all be well and happy may the triple gem bless you take care and good night in a few moments time we're going to have a chanting and guided meditation you're most welcome to join with us thank you margaret for your reflection Thank you and hello everyone. We'll see you shortly for the chanting and guided meditation. Thank you.